Hey everybody, let me talk in this video about Citring. So to get started, I just create a new file and I will name it Citring file and then save. I just create this simple method for creating and here you go. You remember first when you define Citring, you could say Citring, for example, name and you give it data, for example, Hussein or away. That's great. But we did not talk about some, some method that we could do it with Citring. Imagine you want to print the lien of the Citring. So you say SYS or so you say Citring name.length. If you say name.length, you will get the length, the length for the name. If you see how many characters you have it. This one has 16 characters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This one will be considered as character. So that means 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 30, 40, 50, 16. That means 16 character I have now. So to print len, so let me just say uh, len to, to make it more nicer so you could understand it. So uh, you will see the len is 16. Imagine now you want to print only H. So how you print it? So uh, if I say SYSO, for example, I want to print first character. So I would say if you see name, if I say name, dot car at, I'm looking at character at specific index. If you see this method, ask us to give it the index. You know in the array, this one will be index zero, this one, two, three, four, five, six, and continue. So index that we're looking for H, that means index zero. So print the index zero. And here we go. If I save it, run it, you will see the first character is H. If I want to get last character, you could do it by string dot length minus one. Why minus one? Let me just go back, make sure from what I did. Just let me copy it to make it easy for you. So when you follow the character or the code, last car last one will be equal name dot length minus one because we start from zero. This one's sixteen, but the index of this one is fifteen. Because 0, 1, 2, 3, 20, 30, 40, 50, then 15. That means this one will be 15. So uh, I save it, so you have say minus once if you see first character and last character. Now you understand how you could go through the characters. Could you print them? Yes, you could. If I do for loop, integer i equal 0, then i less than the name length, the length of the my string, then i plus plus. So you could print them. So you say S Y S O, then make sure this both you want to print them. You say name dot car at specific I. Now he will go through all the character. Let me just print message for you. Uh, print car, just make it nicer. So now this loop going from zero to the last element and print them element by element. If I click run, you see, you see this is the data that I have it. So now could you print them in one line? Yes, just remove this one, print a line, he will print them in one line. If you see Hussein are away because I didn't get a new line. Could you print them reverse? Yes, you could. By start from the last one. So you say I want to do reverse. So let me just copy this one. I print car, I say reverse. So to you understand what I'm do what I did, I will start from in the uh, name dot length minus one because minus one will be last one. The uh, i uh, greater than or equal zero, but i will be i minus minus. So I will start from fifteen. That means that element. Then I go back. If I click run, I would see this is the reverse one. So now you understand how you could. Uh, get length for any element for any string how you could access element by index by index and how you could do like uh, first character or less character let me suppose i want to separate the specific string for example let me suppose i have this string so i would say i have this string will be a text and this text will be he go to home and i ask you to put every character in different line that's mean first you print he then go, then to, then home. If you see, the separate between word is this one. So now I could separate this word depending on the sp space. How I do that, I, I define sitting as an array. I say split data equal what text. I need to split this text. I say text dot split 
then open a bracket, then add double quotation, then what I what I, I want to depend on, on split, I will depend on space, so just add space, then close it. Now, uh, here I will have array of names, all the names that I have it in the array, first one he, then second element in the array, go, then to home. If I say I do for loop, for integer j equal zero, then j, j less than, split dot length because this is array so I could get length for the array because string this is array so I could say split dot length then I plus plus then I could print the word I say s y s o then I say split for i yes it's not i it's not just j sorry so I'm doing index for j so yes uh, this is the last part. If I just want to make it nicer, also I'll say S Y S O uh, print words. So just make or work nicer. So you would see print words. So I have this text. I just split the text according to space. So I have number of words here. I have he first element, go second element, two third fourth. If I save it, you will just split a lot. If you see, this is the uh, the name I have it, uh, the word. But I think there is a problem because here we start from 9, should be 0. Save it and run it again. Here you go. So if you see, I have he go to home. If you add more in the morning, he will say he go to the home in the morning. He go to the home in the morning. So did you see how I divided? Yes, here we done. And see you next.